Namaste everyone, today I want to share with you a simple but effective technique. Um, if you have a kink in your neck or if you um, throw your back out, but we're talking about kind of like a pinched nerve or just uh, a temporary thing, this is a very effective technique of quickly uh, actually allowing it to heal. Now, if you have chronic pain, that is probably a combination of factors of repetitive use probably lack of mobility lack of flexibility lack of strength combination of things that can be fixed over time with yoga and i offer a lot of classes that would allow you to um, build flexibility strength and uh, mobility in all areas of the body so that the body will naturally uh, rebalance itself but let's say you are traveling and someone gives you or you end up sleeping on a bad pillow and you wake up with neck pain which is what happened to me neck pain that moved into shoulder pain then there is a quick way to fix that or say you did something you moved in the wrong way and you threw your back out there is a quick way to fix it how very simple I've shared this before but I wanted to make a video with it so I have um here I have a set of uh, Chinese cups they're different sizes depending on the area uh, uh, that you want to treat there is a bigger uh, cups and smaller cups and even curved cups and they can pretty much fit on any part of your body now one thing to remember is to not put cups along on top of your spine just along the spine that's one thing to remember now if you want more profound healing you can go to an acupuncturist that does also cupping this is Chinese cupping technique but this is simply done at home you just need the partner who is going to place the cups on your back if you're treating your back otherwise if it's shoulder you could probably kind of reach yourself but overall you need a partner you could also uh, use it around your hips and so forth it basically the principle uh, of work is it will bring blood circulation to the area and blood always speeds up the healing process that's one second if you've actually pinched an, um, a nerve or pulled the muscle it will actually um, bring into the suction the muscle and it would allow it sometimes instantaneously sometimes um, I don't throw my um, uh, neck out often but I did sleep on uh, on a weird pillow and I uh, actually threw my neck out um, the next day uh, I had a little bit of neck pain and the following day actually it moved into shoulder pain so basically I placed two cups around the area of pain and two in the back and that fixed it so um, of course after that you can do uh, strengthening exercises yoga and so forth but we're talking about a quick fix of a quick issue first thing is you will have your partner or your uh, some a friend apply oil on the area I'll show you just the front of the shoulder now and after that I'll show you the back one or many cups are placed along the area that you want to treat you can either use fire cups or suction cups with a gun you allow the cups to work for 10 to 15 minutes and after that you can remove them the cups can be placed on the shoulders along the spine, on the entire back, on your hips, buttocks, legs. Once you remove the cups, there may be bruising in some areas, which generally means that there was lack of blood circulation, or as it's known in Chinese medicine, there was stagnation in that area. And that's generally a good sign that healing will begin now. If you watch the last Olympics, you probably noticed that Michael Phelps had bruises all along his back. The bruises sometimes can happen from the cupping technique. Generally, bruising happens in area where there is stagnation, maybe some form of um, toxins related to the organ that that area of the back is related to, or just uh, lack of circulation in that area and the cups help to bring it in anyways bruising usually is a good sign that things are starting to move in that area and that they weren't moving pre-cupping but then you if you are planning to do some nice amazing event with some beautiful dress with uh, no back then you have to wait to, to do the cupping after because you may be bruised after and uh, Actually, if you even back in the uh, many years ago, even Gwyneth Paltrow showed on the red carpet with a bunch of bruises on, on her back. So um, 
it's been it's been around for quite a while people use it especially athletes and people that are into eastern medicine they use it because it's effective it works and maybe it's not uh, understood by western medicine but nonetheless that doesn't disqualify its uh, effectiveness